have the next entrepreneur take the stage. Uh, I remember, so in our programs, we do what we call a fireside chat with all of the entrepreneurs. It's a way to really get to know them and their past stories, not just the presentations and pitches. I remember when I was getting to go know Karn, uh, his backstory is quite impressive. He's not just a serial entrepreneur. He wasn't just a former investment banker. He was also one of the young, youngest members of parliament in Canada's history. Uh, he hails from Vancouver, which is actually where I was born. Uh, he's a very good friend, a remarkable individual, a kooky, genius entrepreneur. Let's all welcome Karn to the stage with Tara Mara. So imagine a world where we grow enough food for everyone in a way that's clean, sustainable, using regenerative, renewable materials instead of the chemical pesticides and synthetic fertilizers we use today. We can. So Terramaro was founded on one big, bold idea, to use technology for a purpose so that we can create a world with affordable, clean food for everyone. How can we do that? Oh, I just turned my screen off. <laughs> we can do that by not watching the screens. Um, we can do that. So what we started with is trying to understand how, um, how plants and organisms and uh, trees evolved over tens of millions of years, some of the most sophisticated methods of being able to protect themselves and thrive in some of the most difficult conditions and how we can use and apply that so that we can make agriculture more efficient and more sustainable using renewable materials. Well, one of the problems with many of the natural materials that have been studied and are used in organic farming is the lack of efficiency and their, the lack of performance of many of these materials. Now, that's true of the synthetic products that we're putting in for pest control and disease control and fertilization. But it's even more important and even more of an issue with natural materials. In fact, between 50 and to 90 percent of everything that we put onto a farm doesn't get taken up to and used where it needs to be used. So we're putting on multiple times how much we need to use on a farm, and most of it is washing away into the soil and into our water systems. So why is that that happens? So let me have you picture this as an example. Imagine that you had a headache. And like a plant, you didn't have a mouth, so you had to stand in a shower of aspirin water <laughs> to soak up enough aspirin to be able to get rid of that headache. Now, I know it's a ridiculous idea, but it, ima imagine you, you were in that shower. How long would you have to stand until you soaked up enough to get rid of that headache? Eventually, you would, but it would take a long time. And if you imagine where most of that aspirin is going, it would be washing over your body and, and down the drain, along with all the aspirin that's dissolved in, in that water. And that's what we do in agriculture today. We spray and we pray that enough of the right material gets to the right place. But it doesn't. So we started deconstructing how we can make that process work better. And we look to nature and we look to other industries like pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. And we created a technology we call Actigate Targeted Performance Technology. And what it does is it allows the materials that we use today to be absorbed up much more efficiently by targeting the right kind of cells. So if we want to get materials more, inc increase their uptake into plants, we target plants. If we want to target a disease, we target the disease cells. And we can increase the amount of absorption into those cells in a targeted way so we can use less of the material and it performs at a much better level. So on the left is that shower, on the right is on the right? Yeah, on the right uh, is, is uh, the same product using our tech, Actigate technology. So how this looks on a farm is on the far left, you, that's what it would look like if we didn't use pest control. Farmers would be spending their whole year growing food, and most of it would rot on the farm, would be left, and not be able to be consumed. In the middle is how we grow food today. Much better, a lower percentage of loss. But what you see is, what you don't know here is these are all red grapes from the same field taken on the same day. And in the middle is how we normally treat food. And just like if we get sick, say for, with cancer, 
chemotherapy has an effect on our bodies. And it also, these materials also have an effect on plants. So it, it changes the way that plant grows. On the right, we can, we can increase the health of the plant, decrease the loss, and actually increase the yield with our Actigate technology. So our goal over the next 10 years is to apply this technology to reduce the amount of synthetic chemicals we're using in agriculture by 80%, increase the yields in, across the globe by 20%, and positively affect the lives of a billion people. That's about how many don't have enough food to eat today. Um, we can do that. We've actually launched our first product last year, two years ahead of schedule, and we're looking to scale this over the next 10 years across the planet. Soon, we'll live in a time where organic food isn't the alternative, but actually the norm, where we can actually produce organic, clean organic food more cheaply, more efficiently than how we grow today. So that we can live in a world where we can grow enough food for everyone in a way that sustains our environment, our health, and uh, our planet for generations to come. Thank you. Woo!